Hey guys, welcome What's up? back to the channel. Um, you know, I'm Tim. I'm Brian. Welcome to Auto Start. Yep, welcome to Auto Start. We're just two dudes in a car. We like to talk about cars and we like to bring topics to you guys so you guys can join in the conversation with us. Um, so today's topic, we're actually going to be talking about the Ford F1 Lightning. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if it's the first electric truck, if Riven came out before it or the Lightning came out before that. Um, but either way, F1 Lightning, pretty interesting uh, vehicle. I'm not a truck guy in particular, but the F1 Lightning is pretty hot. They weren't afraid, you know, to make, uh, start with like the Mach-E. It went pretty drastic with the Mach-E. Yeah. But then they took one step further and you're like, you know what, we're going to make one of our most popular trucks electric. Let's talk about the exterior. Exterior-wise, um... It looks like every other... F-150? F-150, yeah. yeah. It looks cookie cutter, copy and paste, exactly the same. Yeah, I mean, simple, right? Like, you know, wanna, I guess, if you're hoping to get those guys onto the electric side, then right. keep the exterior pretty much standard. Um, you do, you do. I mean, cause the, people, the people who get these F-150s aren't doing it for, like, the stylistic purposes. Right. They're doing it because it's a work truck. Right. And if it looks like a work truck, it is a work truck, so. Yeah. So typically, those who get these trucks, they actually do construction. They actually carry like True. big loads of you know True. materials. So they actually put the truck part to use. Yeah. So they they, they could care less about how it looks. I mean, cause my God, it's the F one fifties are pretty plain. Yeah, pretty much. For it's the most not. Part. It's not like wow. Yeah. Uh, it's an F one fifty. Oh my God. You can only tell it's a Lightning, like one of two ways. Right. So it has all the packages for the uh, Lightning. It comes standard with this lightning badge on it. Mm, okay. Like towards like the the trunk, truck area. Okay. Uh, okay. It's gonna say lightning on it. That's one of the, the de definitive ways you can find that it's a lightning. Okay, okay. Another way though is it has some lighting, some very super sexy lighting in the front, only on like the XLT package and up. That has this like little light bar, Ooh. like where the headlights are. There's a little light bar that connects the two, and that's the uh, that's how you tell it's a lightning. Another way for you to tell is if you look on the rear uh, tail light, there's actually a light bar on that too. Oh, yeah. Only on the Lariat and up though. Lariat and up, okay. Yeah, so like they're higher tier uh, models. Model. Yeah. Other than that, it looks pretty much identical. Yeah. Like, there's nothing <laughs> too like stylistic about it. There's nothing too crazy change. Like there's no sharp yeah. angles or anything. It just looks like they just took an F1, uh, F-150 and just <laughs> really, kept they just kept it. Yeah. <laughs> this is now it's electric. Just go yeah. on to the interior since that's really most where more changes. Yeah, yeah, yeah a little more of the changes kind of happens. Yeah. Um, what is it on the pro? Because you can start off with the pro ones, I guess, right? I'm thinking and you get like what, like a 12 inch or a 12? Yeah, yeah, you get this like 12 inch uh, horizontal touchscreen. I really don't even want to talk about the pro because like <laughs> it's, it's so garbage. Yeah. I mean, for the price, it's cool, but you get all the features that you would want in your electric truck, especially if you're towing everything or a lot of things, is, and you got to put on like a hitch. Mm. All these features are not included, so you have to pay extra for it. So it's better just to even like just step it up to like the next tier, which is the XLT. So with the uh, Laird and up, the, the touchscreen is actually different. Oh. Yeah, so instead of having this like 12 inch, like, uh, horizontal-ish touchscreen. They have the 15.5 inch vertical touchscreen, kind of like the uh, Maki. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it's, this is like this little rectangle up here. It has a little knob in the middle. Hmm. So completely different if you want that more uh, fancier touchscreen than compared to like your, your okay. standard simple infotainment. For the XLT, you have two options for range. You have a 240 or a 320 miles of range. Oh, right. okay. okay. So it's pretty cool. So, you know, they like to switch up the batteries. I like it. True, true. But okay. with the amount of, like, uh, range you get, you get different types of towing ability. So it's a truck. It's a work truck. You use it to tow. So right. with the right. standard 240 miles of range, that is going to give you at least 5,000 pounds of towing capabilities. If you increase it to that the uh, 320, 320 range, you get that 7,700 pounds of towing, which is a lot. 462 horsepower or 580 with the uh, extended batteries. We have a 0 to 60 on pretty much all their Ford uh, Lightnings, like 0 to 4 seconds. 4 seconds. We have 360 cameras. 
Oh, that's that, good. That's awesome. I like that. Okay. Good. Good point. You know, we can do aim parking. Got to put up your hitch. 360 cameras. They have to be mandatory on all cars, in my opinion. Yeah. <laughs> has cruise control but no uh, blue cruise their blue cruise is kind of like the uh, Tesla's version or their version of Tesla's uh, autopilot or auto steer so the higher yes. package is uh, it's standard on the higher package standard one. okay yeah, okay but Something. the XLT doesn't come with it doesn't come with it okay. Yeah. okay I don't think it comes with the technology for it either even if some of these companies are charging you to use their phone app uh, it doesn't even come standard with like the XLT or the Pro only comes standard with like the Lariat and the uh, Platinum. Platinum. I understand like increasing like uh, payments for like uh, like uh, entertainment value. Completely agree on that one. You want okay. spec stuff. You want uh, I don't I don't know more things help with your uh, intelligent autopilots. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I pay more for that for sure. But things that should be standard will need to be standard. Like heated seating, <laughs> ventilated seating, heated uh, yeah. steering wheel, dash cams. All this needs to be standard across. All packages no matter what there are some slight differences when it comes to platinum yeah. it has a max or it has a 8500 uh, towing capability but if you were to configure it with like the right configs and everything then you have like this max of 10,000 pounds of towing which is a lot of towing yeah. the best aspects of it is this power frunk the power frunk oh yeah I, I love that power frunk. it is huge you can you can fit a body in there dang. it's big dang it's a big frunk hey making use of the space yes sir no engine in there <laughs> no engines uh, just a huge giant front so more even more storage it's powered so you can always open and close it a little like on your car the back lift gate too if you decide to get like the max package it's also powered so oh. you can also go up and down with the button the xlt how it's like how much was it I think around 65 so these f-150s aren't supposed to be <laughs> An expensive truck. It's supposed to be true, true. a cheap truck. Yeah, if pretty you, much. If you want to like increase your battery range, that's an extra thirteen thousand dollars. Oh yeah, yeah, thirteen thousand so yeah, for that extended range. So you're yeah. getting, if you want, if you want the extended range, you kind of have to, in my opinion. Yeah. For, if you want to max out your battery as much as possible, especially if you're using it for towing, right? Yeah. If you're actually gonna put it to work, then you get the maximum range. Right. But that's gonna cost you an extra thirteen thousand dollars. True. So you're true. looking at almost like what eighty k. Yeah. And Basically. a 320 range tr electric truck. $40,000 gets you a base uh, F-150, right? Yeah. It does everything that a truck's supposed to do. It puts in work, you take it to work, it has good power, good torque, it has towing capabilities, right? And that's all you really need it for. But if you're trying to get those people from gas to electric switch, Oof. you're making them pr pay double the price. Yeah for their truck. So they, they can technically buy two F-150s for the price of one Lightning. Yeah. So it, 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 for the consumer who uses a truck, they find it hard to justify that price point. There are trade-offs with this. So either the truck needs to lower its price to make it competitive with their regular uh, F-150s, right. or the infrastructure needs to get really, really good Right to incentivize people to get that electric truck. So like, all right, take me ten minutes to charge the battery to what I need to tow. Perfect. Let's let's do that. Right. Yeah. Yeah. To really justify it. Yeah. I mean, because you know these tough. uh these F one fifty they they have some big like fuel tanks. Oh yeah. So it costs them big money to actually you know fill up the tanks. Up the tank, yeah. So if they're saving maybe what twenty bucks a gallon by charging their car every time they charge it because they essentially charge it a lot because they have to depending on how much they tow and yeah then it just makes the logical leap to like go to that electric truck yeah. but the price point is just so high it's hard to justify that initial like uh, bullet really yeah what was the most unique on the feature that they offer like when you do add that extended range you mm -hmm. can potentially look into uh, their their marketing feature with the, the power your house is power but it comes out also at an extra expense too. It's not like you can just do that willy nilly. But you still have to also install their system from mm -hmm. sun run, run into your home, and it's basically gonna run you. It's a, it's a lot. It's gonna at least be another around six thousand dollars or so, probably. Because okay. let's say you let's say you get two thousand installation, and their their deal is like thirty nine hundred ish, mm -hmm. so about six thousand bucks or almost there. Like I said in the beginning. Brian and I aren't truck guys. We're coupe guys, sedan guys, sport car guys. Not a truck, because we have no need for trucks yeah. in our line of work. 
but uh, yeah you know for some reason you find like a really awesome you must get this truck type of mentality let us know for sure yeah. be sure to read your comments of course or apply accordingly yep but uh, yeah anything else you want to add before we close off here I think that might be all I got go sounds good well Woo. thank you guys for watching as always we appreciate your time yes we love you guys uh, be sure to stay tuned for the next one oh yeah uh, like subscribe we'll bring you guys something else uh, soon oh yeah auto start sign off you guys take care bye, bye.